Jack Robotics. And with the bright, nice hats, it's 3015 Ranger Robotics. And on the end, we've got 156 RPM Robotics Plus Mayhem. Down in blue, we've got 2544 HCRC and 3504 Girls of Steel. And Connor Ryan, this one's for you. It's 4991 Horsepower. Okay, now Jeff gives us a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. And three, two, one, go. And here we go in the start of the autonomous period. Girls of Steel moving a yellow toad out of the starting position. Lumberjack Robotics lining up on a scoring platform. With two seconds left, it's safe to say we won't get any completed sets on this one. But the teleoperated period has begun. We got litter going into a green can, courtesy of 3015, the Ranger Robotics. Girls of Steel trying to get something going over at the player, st at the player station there, but it's just coming out a little crooked. Hopefully those Girls of Steel can get it lined up so they can get some stacks going. Meanwhile, 2534, Lumberjack Robotics already has the green can sitting high, trying to maneuver themselves over to the player station. The human player doing some traffic control for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, Ranger Robotics lined up just the way they want to. Looks like they've got two totes in their possession right now. Three totes, excuse me, and a green can with litter in it. Are they going to be able to complete this stack? they got plenty of time to work with. Cooperation is the name of 156's game. RPM gliding up at the step. They've got two yellow totes. 25, 44, HCRC got one yellow tote. Can we get them on the step together? We have a minute left to play. 3015 looking for some litter to put in its can. Ranger Robotics gets helped out by the human player. They've got a can with litter on it, but they don't have a stack to put it on. Speaking of stacks, look at Lumberjack flying high with a five stack, looking to make it six. There it goes. They got a six stack and 45 seconds to do something with it. They gotta take it careful. Take it easy. Let's count those stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Green can on top. And some litter in it. That's the highest scoring stack they can put in place. Little shaky on that. 20 seconds left. They gotta need to get it on top of a scoring platform. That tote's gonna give them some trouble. 20 seconds left. 4991 for the Blue Alliance. Gets a can on top of that triple stack. Lumberjacks with 13 seconds left to go. Will we be saying that's a great six stack or will we be saying timber before this is over? There it's up. And like a proud cedar, that six stack stands tall.
like a duckless lake. That match had no fouls in it. No fouls on that one. So here come the scores. Red Alliance picks up a 64. Blue Alliance picks up a 26. Congratulations to the Red Alliance. All three teams move up in the rankings. 156. Cruising right on up to 10th place. Moving their average score.